hello and welcome back to my youtube page i made a video about a year ago explaining how to use mendeley for academic writing so mendeley is a very powerful software that can help you to easily cite your work and produce the referencing automatically and also the the very powerful aspect of it is that you can change your referencing style without having to start the citation from the beginning again so once you have cited all your work you can easily change the referencing style so i'm going to show you more details about how you can use this powerful software so there are some steps that you need to follow the first thing is you need to have an account with mendeley so you create an account i'm going to show you that so you create an account you download and install this mendeley software if you are using windows or mac just you download the one that is for your for your operating system then there is mendeley site so the mendeley site is like a plugin that connects the mendeley software to your microsoft world so you need to also install that you can also download that on the mendeley website and then when you launch the mendeley app you can then start to add add your references so if you have the multiple source online where you get your references from for instance if you are using google scholar or maybe it's a web page. I mean, I will show you multiple ways to add references to your to the software. Now, after you've done that, you need to launch the Word document that you want to be cite. You want to cite uh, those references on, and then there will be connection between your Word document and the Mendeley app through the Mendeley site. So that's where you will do all the citation. Then you can start citing and referencing. So let's get to the stages. So now the first thing you need to do is to come to this page. If you don't have an account yet with Mendeley, create a free account. After you've created an account, come here, download. So you download for Windows, right? So if you are using Windows, if you are using Mac or Rhinos, you can see that one, you can download for the operating system. So after you've downloaded and installed this software, the next thing I would like you to do is to go to Mendeley site plugin. So Mendeley site. Now Mendeley site is what connects your Microsoft Word with Mendeley software. So it's very important. So what you need to do is to download this and install the Mendeley site. Once you've done that, then the next step now is to launch the software. Now you've already installed Mendeley, so Mendeley Reference Manager. So once you have launched the software, you can see here, I have multiple references I've added here that I've used in my papers, my articles I've written in the past. Now, this is how the interface is going to look like. For if you have not added any publication, it's going to be empty. So what you have to do now is to go to where your source is, where you want to get your citations from. Now, let me say I want to get my citation, Google Scholar. All right so google scholar if you search for the paper you are looking for or multiple paper let's say i'm i'm doing a, a research on pedestrian crash injury severity so i have there's a paper here so let me use this for instance now so once i open this paper you can see there are multiple options here this says site article so if you click on this site article it's going to ask you to copy the citation or download citation now there is an easy way that I always prefer to use. So here, instead of me copying or downloading the citation, what I usually do is to copy the DOI up to this point from here. So I'll copy the DOI. Usually what I need is from 10. But let me see now. If I copy that, I come here, go to add new. You enter add entry manually. So if you paste this here, what I needed is just from 10. I don't need those um, the other ones. So once I put that there and I click look up metadata, you see it will automatically populate the title, the authors, the year, and other information about that paper. So I'll just add. So you can see this is the paper here. It has added it automatically. Now I can go back to get another paper. Let's say I want to check this one. Now, if you come to this paper now, 
there are multiple ways you can add Mendeley. Now you can see now, add to Mendeley is here as a tab. So if I want to use this, what I need to do is to click add to Mendeley. It will ask you to sign in. So I don't usually like to use the add to Mendeley uh, option because sometimes it takes it takes time. So the easier one I like to use is this one. So I'll just copy the DOI up to this point. Copy, go to my Mendeley software, add manually. Once you click here, it will automatically populate it. Add entry. Now you might have other sources of um, references that doesn't have DOI. So in that case, you can just enter the information here. For instance, if it is a, a web page, so what you just need to do, let me say for instance, we have a web page, let's say, uh, let's say BBC News Publication. So maybe there is a publication on BBC News that you want to use as a source of your as a source for your work, right? So let's say for instance this this is a web page, so there, there's no DOI for it. But to cite this, what you just need to do is to note the title of the article. Then you come to Mendeley, you put in the title right so once you put in the title you know the source is bbc then you can copy the the url and then when was it published three hours ago so it was published today and this is a person saying carlogan so you just type the name of the person here the author So you type the name of the author, that is right, I think. Then the year of the publication, put the publication BBC. The year it was published, you know it's this year. No. So all that is basic information. Just add, click on add entry, it is here. So you can add the URL here. Just paste the URL there. So that's it. So this is another way to add sites that doesn't have DOI. Now, there's another way to add. So I'm going to show you multiple ways. For instance, now here in this paper, we can cite. So when you click on site, it tells you to export citation to RIS, beep test. So you can export in this to any of these two formats. Let's say I export it to beep test. See, it will download it. It will automatically be on my download file. If I open my download file, I should be able to see it there. Right? So it's downloaded. You can see it here now. So you can also add it that way. So what you need to do is to go here. Instead of adding manually, you click on import library. So beep test is the format. Then it's under downloads, so it's under download date, date modify. So this is it here. So click on it. You see, it automatically imports the information. You can see this and this are the same because they are the same paper. So it automatically imports the information. So those are the ways you can add your references. So my preference is to enter manually and just paste the DOI. But if it doesn't add the DOI, you can also enter manually, enter the information manually. And um, you can also import in this format. So those are the basic way to add. So once you finish building your referencing um, files, you can then go to citing them in your work. Now, let's go to citation. How do we do that? You run your Word document. Already, let me say this is the paper that I'm working on now that I want to cite. All right. I hope the stages are, are very clear now. So now, this is a paper I'm working on. If I have this paper, remember I said you have to install 
Mendeley's site, which is a plugin for Word document. So if I click on references, you can see Mendeley's site here. So this is the connection. So if I click on that, it will ask me to log in. So now I have logged in, it will bring all my references here according to the time I added it. So it's still loading. So you see now, this is the last one I added from Comfrey to Crashes. This is the last one I added. So every reference you've added from the beginning will all show up here. Now, what you just need to do is to locate where do you want to add the references. Let's say now, let me use this abstract because I don't need to add anything here, but let me use it for explanation. Now, if I click on that point, I will just click on from comfrey to crashes. Let me say I want to add this tree at the same point. I select the tree, insert. You can see three of them have been inserted yet. This is showing A, B because they are the same thing. So I added it twice. So it's showing one is A, one is B. But let me remove that one, add this one. So if I add another one, I will just save changes and it automatically updates it. So now, I can decide to add more. Let me say select this one, this one, and this one, this one. Just add. So I've added this now. So let me see that. Let's say that this is the only. Let me put it in a new document. Okay. Let me put it in a new document. Now, if I have references here, right? So this is a new document. Let me cite more. So I have a lot of references now. Let me cite more. Let me cite more. Okay. Let me cite more. Now, I've cited all this now. I want to show the references. So what I need to do now is to select where I want the references to show. So I want it to show here. Now, once I've selected that, I'll come back here, click on Insert Bibliography, Bibliography. Just click on that, Continue. So you see, I've inserted everything from that point to this point. Now, the next thing you want to do is, what format do you want to use for your references? There are multiple formats, there are different formats, depending on the journal you want to send your paper to or you know if you are submitting it for a, for class project or whatever you are yeah. using it for there will be a format they will be you'll be given to 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 put your reference in, in now let's go to citation setting you want to change your citation style so currently is in APA standard which is APA American Psychological Association. That's the format it is now. Now I want to change it to another format. There's Taylor and Francis. There is um, IEEE. So this one, now if I use this one, I'll just click update citation style. You can see it has changed from the name of the author to just number one to four, five to nine, 10 to 12 like that and then it has updated this to 1 to 12 according to those numbers now we can always change to another style you want to any style you want to use just update automatically it update you can see this one is is superscript 1 to 4 10 to 12 like that like that so that's how you that's how you, you work with these things. So, that is very feasible to do. And um, it doesn't take you a lot of time to do it. So, once you have this, you can always come back here, change the citation style. You can always come back, add more references, remove any references you don't want to use. Let's say I don't want to use this one. I just click delete, save changes. It will update automatically. So, that is how you use Mendeley for your referencing work. I hope um, I've been able to cover most part of it. I'll post the initial video I did below this uh, video so that you can watch both and compare. And let me know if you have any question under the comment section and I'll be glad to attend to them.
thank you very much for watching and remember to like the video and share it with your friends in the academic environment bye for now